Welcome to Fail Town. Population me. How is your NaNoWriMo going? Mine is not necessarily going. I am still writing. Definitely not 1,666 words a day, but I am still technically writing. Obviously, I have not been vlogging, as you can tell by the fact that I posted, like, NaNoWriMo Day 9's vlog on, like, November 20th. I do have the excuse that we got sick during the beginning. I'm going to try to make this video more quick and quickier than last time. Last time I rambled on for an hour and somehow managed to edit that down until like an eight minute video. So my word count right now is estimately 12,000 words. I've broken 12,000. I've gotten more than that. I'm not sure how much more. I might be at like 12,500-ish. So I am clearly way behind. I haven't written any today. I don't think I wrote yesterday either. And the days that I have been writing, I write like 500 words. I'm starting to feel better, so I'm going to try to get more writing done. I'm going to try to at least write every day from this point, if not the ton. A couple of my writing buddies have fallen behind the couple weeks ago, and what happened is the day that he fell behind was like the last day he updated his word count. His word count looks like boop. It's like the line, the BP line when someone dies in a hospital, like, it was going up, and now it's this flat line. It was like the second that he fell behind, I was like, okay, I'm done, I give up. That's not the way to NaNoWriMo. That's not how you should NaNoWriMo. You should keep writing every day as much as you can, despite whether or not you think you're actually going to be able to get to 50,000 words. I feel like there are like four different stages you can be on during NaNoWriMo. Ahead, on track, playing catch up, and the point where you realize you are definitely not going to get 50,000 words. But who cares if you're not going to get 50,000? It would still be better to end NaNoWriMo with more words than with just the words you had when you started falling behind. You shouldn't just stop because you started falling behind. That's stupid. It is really discouraging to fall behind, especially when you're so behind that you know like for certain that the 50,000 words is not going to happen. But I have a cure for that. When going into NaNoWriMo, you should have some personal goals. More doable personal goals. You should still probably aim for 50,000 words, but you could have like, I'm gonna be happy to get 20,000 words. And and if you manage to get to 20,000 words, based on how much time you have left, you could like up the goal. Like say, I got to 20,000 words and there's still a week left in NaNoWriMo, let's try to get to 25,000 words or 30,000 words if you're feeling ambitious. I feel like a lot of people that do NaNoWriMo forget that they accomplished a lot even though they didn't get to the 50,000. 50,000 is a really good accomplishment, but so is 30,000 and 2,000 and 10,000 and 5,000. Even if you just wrote like a hundred words during the entire NaNoWriMo, that's probably more than you would have written without NaNoWriMo. This is a busy time of year, so there is like a million different obstacles that can come in to distract from the word going. Like at this point, the NaNoWriMo-ness has like gone away a lot. I'm basically just writing like I always write at this point. Hopefully I'll be able to re-grab the NaNoWriMo-y feelings and remember that NaNoWriMo is happening and be like, I'm gonna get to like 1,666 words today. Basically, don't just stop doing NaNoWriMo and declare yourself a loser just because you fall behind. Even if you fall behind enough that you know you're definitely not going to get to 50,000. Like I am. I'm definitely not going to get to 50,000 in the next couple weeks. Or is it just one week? Either way, I'm not getting to 50,000 but I'm still going to write. Probably not as much as like the NaNoWriMo word countness is. But I'm going to write, I'm just going to write and I'm gonna update my word count. So just keep writing on your keyboard or if you do this instead then do this. That's all I got to talk to you guys about today. I hope you enjoyed this video. This one was really short but as I mentioned I got like scarred for life 
from editing the last one that was like an hour long. I hope you enjoyed it even though it was short. I hope you like it and subscribe so that you can uh, see the rest of these videos, assuming that there are going to be more. Comment down below on what your word count is for the day. Sorry I didn't share a quote or have my draft with me. This is just meant to be like something I do real quick. Go out and write more and make stories and have a nice nanorimo and a nice life. Bye. Rawr. What are you thankful for this today? My boy. Elliot, what are you thankful for? Cow. What do you think? Stop. <laughs> David, what are you thankful for? For what I did you did to you when you were asleep. What are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? I am thankful for God's salvation. What are you thankful for? Okay. What are you thankful for? Lots of things. Okay. Daniel, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for clocks so that we can tell the time. And for beds. Maya, what are you thankful for? Right now, I'm very thankful for friends that are helping me with all this cooking because I don't obviously know what I'm doing. And um, I'm thankful for y'all, for my sweet children, and my family, my country, my freedoms, wonderful weather today. I was going to say, beautiful days. And um, did I say family? Because that's the best. Mm -hmm. And the countries after that. And, well, you know, I really should name the first thing first. I'm really thankful for Jesus. I would say, yeah. Um, Don't my dog out. Who are sharing their Thanksgiving with us. <laughs> sharing Thanksgiving. I'm thankful that I was invited to DRC, and I'm, I'm thankful for Melanie and Lehman, and, and I'm like you, I'm thankful for Jesus, and, and, uh, and uh, I don't know, and I'm not, I say I'm, I'm not really healthy, but I'm, I, I'm thankful for the help I do have. Right. What are you thankful for? Oh, are we videoing? Sorry. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> so I just thought I'd pose. I stood there uh, smiling for you. Don't know. What am I thankful for? I'm thankful for my dog. Dad, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for my warm coat and my, my beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Luna, what are you thankful for?